the most important thing is that machine does not stop running. It runs all day, everyone gets their way. Reliability of the machine is paramount. We don't want that machine to stop. So we design in such a way that we have structural items that never need to be replaced and we have maintenance items that are quick to replace. The structural items are built in the same kind of style as large buildings or bridges where the elements of them do not need to be replaced over their lifespan. The maintainable items are equivalent of brake pads in a car. You know that they are going to wear out at some point, so when they do, we make them easier to replace. If something does fail, we have triple modular redundancy. So what that is, is we have three items that do the same job. If one of them fails, the computer, which is watching all three, knows to go with the two that are still working, and then the machine never stops. We don't have a weight constraint like an aeroplane which has to get off the ground and needs to be light and strong. Ours needs to be heavy, so we can make it heavy and we can make it as strong as we like. It has to do a lot of cycles, this machine. If you calculate it out over the years, it's millions and millions of cycles. So we approach or accommodate that, uh, the fatigue design, by really overbuilding. So a lot of our components that are subject to fatigue, they're somewhere between four and 10 times as strong as they actually need to be. And that's what we do to accommodate fatigue life. The air compressors charge our air tanks, so that's our energy storage. And then when we want to run a set of waves, we have that energy on tap to apply to the machine. Our energy storage and our compressors are located on land, away from the wave making device, and they can be far away from the lake itself. So other pneumatic systems use compressed air to push the water that forms the wave. We don't do that. We use compressed air to move our machine. We actually use the compressed air to motivate a hydraulic system, and for that hydraulic system we use water from the lake. Other hydraulic systems use oil and other contaminants like that. We have no contaminants in our lake. By building the prototype that we did, which is a true one-to-one -one scale, it's full size. So by running that machine, we know everything at a true full size scale. We got to measure it all. And by measuring many, many things that we did, gave us the confidence, gave us the, all the knowledge that we need to be able to fully engineer this and over-engineer this, over-design, over-build. And in doing so, that gives us the certainty that the machine can perform the millions of cycles that it will across its operational life. So you know when you turn up, it's going to be working.